Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. Dave sent me a story here about something that happened on an airplane. And this is like an international conglomeration here because the version I got is from the New Zealand Herald. And um, it happened in Mexico. So <laughs> we're going to go globe trotting in this story. And I've flown a lot. Um, I flew twice last year. I know it's not a lot for some people. But, you know, in my lifetime, I've flown a bunch of times a bunch of different places. And I've never had any really bad experiences. I've had a few that I wasn't too crazy about. I've had my luggage get lost a few times, that kind of thing. Um, and I've spent a little bit of time waiting in a plane. Nothing that bad, though. But I remember a time when there were a bunch of stories that hit the news about planes that were supposed to take off, that were loaded with passengers. The door was closed. They had pushed. And then they waited hours and hours and hours for something to happen, uh, the weather to change, um, the de-icing trucks to come by, I don't know, and, and, and people getting very upset by that. In fact, I remember there being class action lawsuits filed in Michigan over some events at Detroit Metro Airport. So here's a story, Mexico plane protest, why a man opened an emergency exit and walked on a plane's wing, and the passengers are supporting him. <laughs> now, I would never advise you do this, but apparently... He was mad as heck and didn't want to take it anymore. So at first, it sounds like a typical case of bad behavior on board an airplane. Uh, this is going on at the Mexico City International Airport. And they acknowledged in a statement that a man opened an emergency exit and walked out on the wing of the plane that was parked and waiting for takeoff on Friday. Airport said the man had been turned over to police. So he did get in trouble for this. And he probably delayed the flight even more. But dozens of fellow passengers signed a statement saying the airline made them wait for four hours without proper ventilation or water while the flight was delayed. According to photos of the statement posted online, fellow passengers said he acted to protect everyone with the support of everyone. <laughs> One guy is going to go out there and do it. Airport said in a statement that yesterday a passenger on a flight to Guatemala opened an emergency door on a plane while it was stationary at a remote position stood on a wing, and then re-entered the cabin without affecting the aircraft or anyone else. So he didn't damage anything. In line with international security regulations, the person turned himself over to the authorities. Now, they say there were 77 passengers on board the Aero-Mexico flight to Guatemala, and um, those 77 signed a statement. There was more than 77 on board, but 77 of them signed a statement um, saying that they supported the man's actions. And so somebody, when he got arrested, somebody whipped out a piece of paper and said, I'm in favor of this guy. I like this guy. Who's with me? Okay, let's sign a statement. <laughs> the delay and lack of air created conditions that endangered the health of the passengers. He saved our lives, said the statement, probably with a bit of hyperbole. Uh, you got to understand that it can get very uncomfortable on a plane, especially if you're jammed in the back in cattle class. Um, and especially if you're a taller person. So an incident reported, um, the incident report filed with airport authorities largely confirmed that story. Around 11.37, a Mexican airline reported the beginning of a disturbance due to passenger discontent, passenger discontent on flight AM 672, according to that report. The flight had been due to lift off at 8.45 Thursday, local time, but because of a maintenance alert on the plane, the captain had returned to the gate for required maintenance. So I've seen that happen before, too. And by the way, ain't nothing worse than that. Nothing worse than that. Where everybody gets on the plane, and you can tell something's happening, and you see people coming up and talking to the captain and going back, and they, they look like mechanics or something. And next thing you know, you see them underneath the plane doing something down there. And one of the last flights I was on, uh, the captain came on the old hooter and said something to the effect of, uh, we had something that needed to be fixed. It has been fixed. We now simply need to update the maintenance logs to reflect it. So it's just paperwork at this point. And a few minutes later, a guy ran over with something that appeared to be that the captain signed it. At least that's what I saw from my view in the cheap seats, okay? So that can happen. But heaven forbid that they need to do something major on your plane because it could be that your plane ain't leaving for a few hours or at all. Uh, or if they're not sure, do they deplane or do they leave you on? So the passengers were unhappy, and one of them opened the emergency door and stepped out on the wing. This event required the plane to be changed. 
Airport authorities did not identify the man, and they declined to comment whether he remains in custody or what charges he faces, if any. Flight tracking sites confirmed that flight AM-672 to Guatemala City was delayed for four hours and 56 minutes. Almost five hours. Oh, and the flight couldn't have been that long. In other words, you spend more time in the plane <laughs> sitting there than you do on the flight. A video apparently recorded aboard the flight showed passengers fanning themselves and asking a flight attendant for water. Aero Mexico did not immediately respond to an email uh, request and comment. So, you know, I, did the guy do something wrong? Yes. Uh, was he at the end of his tether? Probably. Are all the people on board backing him up? Does that mean anything? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I've seen videos on YouTube. And I mentioned before, I watch a lot of other videos on YouTube. And I like to watch um, arrest videos. And every now and then you get spun off on not just a rabbit hole, but like a wormhole that goes off in a different direction. And I was watching videos of people being arrested at airports. And I've seen it before where somebody gets on a plane. They're very, very unhappy. Quite often they're very, very drunk. And uh, somebody comes back and says, excuse me, you need to get off the plane. And they're like, no. Somebody else comes back and says, you need to get off the plane. No. Captain comes back. You need to get off the plane. No. Captain goes and finds uh, some kind of legal authorities, uh, police, who come on and say, you need to get off the plane. No. Oh, for the safety of the people on board, they have to deplane. Every single person off the plane then they come in and grab this person, pick them up, and carry them out. And then everybody gets back on the plane. Now, that's one where they're going to go, I don't like that one person who refused to play nice with other people. And, and I've seen it before where somebody gets hauled out and they're being carried out by four people, one on each limb, where people are applauding. They're like, yes, thank you, thank you. Here, the guy who goes out on the wing, which normally would be a stunt that you'd freak out about, goes, no, the people are like, no, we understand. He was... <laughs> He was the end of his tether like the rest of us. <laughs> when he opened that door, we got fresh air. Have you ever been inside something that was con you know, contained like that with, with, with the sunlight and the heat on it, and, and it's starting to feel stifling, and you open up a door or a window and you get that fresh air in? I bet the people near that door were so happy when he opened it. I, I, and 77 of them signed, <laughs> signed a, a statement saying that they back the guy up and they support him. So it's a strange story. It's a strange story. But I think we've all been frustrated at one time or another at the airport. It's a question whether they did anything like that or found ourselves sitting in a Mexican jail as a result. So my good friend Caleb uh, used to work for the airlines, and I used to talk to him about stories, and he would always have some great stories like this. So I'm sure he'll have some thoughts on this one as well. But uh, he no longer works in the airline industry, and I think he's probably happier now. <laughs> so... <laughs> Dave, thanks for sending this for the New Zealand Herald. Mexico plane protest, why a man opened an emergency exit and walked on a plane's wing, and why passengers are supporting the wing walker. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Leto's Law. A thing of beauty is a joy forever.